Welcome everyone. Today we have a guide video on achievements. Most of you have noticed that the achievements actually give us a lot of primal gems. They also progress rewards for completing the entire achievement. My focus today will be on the marksman achievement for us. I'll show you guys all three of the marksman achievement and what are the strategies and methods we can achieve those. Now why should we go for those achievements you might ask? There are a lot of primal gems to be earned, also special 4 star rewards for the background for your character as people see your character to inspect your character. So there's a, something to show off showing your skills and a lot of primal gems. You earn from 5, 10 and 20 primal gems and I have earned close to 600 to 800 primal gems with all my achievements. What I'll do is, as I go through the harder achievements, I will talk to you guys how I found those and I have some replays for you guys to demonstrate where you can do those and how you can achieve those for additional primal gems. Coming over to one of our replays, you can see here I have just achieved the marksman achievement. There are three of those. First one, you have to shoot an eagle in mid-flight. After that, you'll be going for weak spots of the enemy from far away, also extremely far away. Now those can be difficult and depending on your approach, this can be a little challenging and really fun to play actually. In order to achieve the far away and extremely far away sniper achievement, what I'll be going for is I'll be going for a golem that is over next to this particular waypoint. And for this particular golem, the distance between the ridges between the two sides is long enough for us to achieve both of the achievements. I had the idea of trying the golem for the achievement the moment I realized the golem goes stationary with a massive target on its middle point of the core. And this is when I realized, hey, why don't I try the achievement for the distance? Because notice the golem stays still, and you can see the core is going to be stationary. And now, if you actually focus just far enough, you get the first achievement, which gives us the dead eye dick. This is the mid or far away achievement for hitting the, the core spot or the weak spot. This one's very easy. The next one is a little more challenging. For the far away achievement to hit the weak spot, you do have to be very, very far. And notice the golem is big enough target for us to shoot and if we keep trying at a far distance, leading the shot and allowing the projectile to fall onto the golem, there is a chance of hitting the golem. Keep in mind, there are other monsters that you can try the same for going for the headshots, but for me the golem was good enough after about 3-4 to four minutes of attempt. I did go from the back side, I went from the front side, and eventually I found a sweet spot over here, so this is towards the storm terror side. And notice the distance between me and the golem and I keep running back each time I fire an arrow. This was good enough for me to hit the golem. I've seen other people hitting, you know, trolls on the head and other things as well, trying for the far achievement. This is the most challenging one, but it's a really rewarding one once you get him. It feels really good. Finally, we have the achievement to hit an eagle in mid-flight. You wanted to find live eagles that is flying around in a fixed place. What I found is, I found over here, this is the best location, on this particular corner. This is why I was also looking for the Geo Oculi. There's an Oculi over there as well if you're looking for those. So what we can do is we can teleport over here to the Geo Boss and as you come across here, you can see a windmill. Hitting that windmill will give you a boost of turret, which will push you towards the island. As you can see over here, we're gonna use the MNO ability on the windmill and now we get a boost of turret. This is enough up drift even at my stamina level that is not fully maxed. Oh, we just maxed it. So fly towards this particular part and there you can find the Oculi, also a lot of eagles. You can also see a lot of eagles here, but they're not circling around you. So you can see us running over here. This is a particular puzzle actually for two players. You can also see they made a love hut over here. By climbing up, you will grab the Geo Oculite, and now it's time for eagle shooting. This can be quite hard at the first try because the eagle speed and the projectile speed is always adjusting. As you fire a lot of arrows, you don't have to charge those. Just go into the sniper mode and press R and then start firing arrows. It gets a little dizzy for me initially, but after one or two minutes, I eventually hit the eagle. So it does take a little practice, but it felt really good after hitting the eagle. Now I know hitting the eagle in midair might not be the thing for everyone. So what I found on Reddit is there's a post and it was talking about eagle on the pick and you can shoot those without them moving. So what you can do is you can come over to the hang on stone first and you can see the location of this particular post. This is where the character is and you can look for eagles over here. Personally, I didn't go for those because I already found the eagle myself. So if you have trouble with those eagles I showed you earlier, you can come over here to try those stationary eagles. And over here, you can see my background of my marksman sniper achievement in the background. You can see the arrow over here and this is the customized background. 
To change your background, you can come over here and change the name card. You can see there's a variety of name cards you can go for. You can go for the rewards for completing challenge in series one, rewards for doing the maximum challenge. And what we'll do is we'll work towards in finishing all of those achievements and getting all of those unlocked for us. And here we have it guys. Let me know if there's a particular achievement you have trouble with. We can definitely focus on that. We can look towards in finishing all the achievements together. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news, and even updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.